dick on the uh, shoulder. So I gotta pay very close attention here. I'm not sure how long of a video I'm gonna do. It's more or less kind of just sharing my uh, winter or the start of my winter driving.
a really long video. But this is just it's nice. And hopefully I don't have any problems uh, going up this mountain. Uh, because the shoulders covered in snow and probably ice. And so if I have to pull over, that could, that could be a problem. And this is why doing a pre-trip and keeping your vehicle in tip-top maintenance is very important. You don't want breakdowns in situations like this. Even though they can happen, the better you do, the better you take care of your vehicle, the less likely it will happen. Guys, that that's just really pretty. It really is. I would not want to live up here though. It's pretty to drive through, but man, I wouldn't want to live with it. Or at least I don't think I would want to. Recreation. You know, I might try skiing. I might try that a little bit later on in the winter. If I get some time off and I'm near a mountain. That'd be kind of fun. Go skiing. My dad actually used to. My dad used to uh, do cross-country skiing for fun. I miss my dad. I really do. Yeah, it says watch for ice in shaded areas and on bridges. I wonder why you would want to watch for ice right now. Now, I haven't seen a salt truck, snow plow, or anything like that. Uh, I don't think the snow is that bad yet. Alright, so now we got a steep grade. Uh, I don't know how fast I want to go down it. So we're just going to play by ear. Speed limit is 65 miles an hour, but when you're in a situation like this, you drive the, as fast as you can safely. So I'm doing 45. I think that's reasonably safe. The other trucks seem that down there are doing roughly the same speed as I am. Uh, and I'm going to say they, they have more experience than I do in this. And so judging my speed off them, you know, I'm not flying past them, so that means I'm doing good. And I can also watch them. If I see them skid out, that would mean that they hit some ice. And that would give me some forewarning to slow down before that point. I also have a semi truck behind me, and so I'm kind of watching him too. You really you want to watch everything that goes on around you, and that's what I'm doing. I just put on my park lights or running lights.
this is not as steep of a grade, so I'm not in full engine brake right now. I am using cruise control to just to help maintain a smooth speed through here, even on the uh, down slopes. literally just doing this by the seat of my pants. I have no idea if I'm doing this wrong or right. Uh, so any of my YouTuber or any of my YouTube people that are watching my videos, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm always ready to learn more. Alright, it looks like I'm coming up on a scale house soon. My Qualcomm is saying I'm out of route. So that's not good. I don't know if it's because it's screwing up because I'm in the mountains or what. But I should still be on 90. So I guess the next road sign. Check just to make sure it didn't do something funny that I'm getting confused on. Okay, my GPS is screwing up. I'm sitting here, I saw it. It's bouncing all over the place. So chances are, I'm still on 90. I'm doing fine. and I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. And wow, I really would like to do a video of that. But I would be doing nothing but scenery videos all across America. America has some great driving time, guys. And if you've never been out driving, you know, went coast to coast, I would honestly say you should. There's a lot to see. down in elevation you can kind of tell the trees don't have as much snow the ground has less snow and we've been going downhill so I picked up a little bit of speed because it's safer than what I was before and the temperature is now 6, 36 37 degrees so we got a few degrees warmer and we can start to see the trees don't have as much snow down here. So we're definitely lower in elevation. And the ice that did form on the windows is now water again. So all things are leading me to believe that the chances of ice on the road is less likely. Now I am only doing 55 miles an hour. So I only picked up 10, 10 miles faster. The ground seems very, it's wet, but I don't see anything sticking to even the shoulder. Now I am gonna be very careful with any bridges, which I don't see any in front of me right now, but that can always change. My GPS just realigned me yeah, I'm on US 90 still. So that's perfect. I might be on 90 for a long time, guys. Alright, well, uh, 
that's the end of that. I'm now at the bottom. And I think I'm in Montana, guys. I really should know. Even though I'm not up in the snow area, I mean, hell, it's still real pretty out here, guys. up 17 minutes of your, your time. Thank you for sitting here and watching and listening to me. Up on the scale, how? 
three pass uh, scale house, so I might get you know pass through or get green lighted, as it's also called. So we'll be listening for a beat and seeing if I have a red, yellow, or green. And I've never gotten a yellow, but I know red means to go in. Green means you can go. Uh, yellow, I'm gonna say you go in anyway. I'll go in on a yellow because better to be safe than sorry if you ran a scale house. It's not a good thing. Boy, it, it, I mean, there's just nice picture, you know, nice scenery, picture, video, whatever the hell, all around here.